Hey, what's going on, Strong Life First? Welcome to another episode in the Strong Life Fitness Kitchen. Um, today I'm making sweet potato fries, baked in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what ingredients you need. And then we can just go ahead and get started, okay? So, uh, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need two uh, sweet potatoes. This is one of my favorite kind of um, complex carbs in the vegetable. So I'm using actually like four of these because these are small. But the recipe, you could have two big ones because usually they get bigger, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make it into wedges and chop it. Just be really careful when you're cutting these because you don't want to cut yourself, okay? I'm going to... I have my bowl ready. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in there. You could make them smaller if you want, like matchsticks. But just keep in mind that if you do that, you know, it's not going to take as long to cook. Um, I have the oven already preheating and at 450 and usually it probably takes me about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to cook at that temperature. So the next thing you're going to need also is, um, is you're going to need four garlic cloves. Now don't be stingy with garlic cloves. Um, I usually put anywhere between six to eight. Uh, depends on the size of them. If, 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 this, if it's a big then I'll use four but if they're smaller then I just make sure I keep adding more, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. Take off your peel. And this is just one. I already have some pre-chopped <laughs> at the same time. Now, um, I used to use the garlic press to do all my um, garlic. But then I decided just to start learning how to, how to use it, utilize my knife a little better. So that way, um, at the end of the recipe, I'm not having to wash so many dishes, okay? <laughs> no shortcut, okay? So, get this all nice and chopped. I love garlic. I, I, every time I come across a, um, a recipe with garlic, I always add more than what it says. Because they don't tell you the size of the garlic, right? They just say the quantity, okay? <laughs> so let me go ahead and toss that in there into my bowl, okay? And then the next thing you're going to need, you're going to need a, a tablespoon of fresh rosemary. I just grabbed this a little bit ago from my garden and that's something I really enjoy doing is gardening uh, vegetables and uh, herbs. So I, it smells so great. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a rough chop. Well this one's a little, probably a little harder than the garlic, okay, to chop. But um, you, if you don't have fresh, you could use dry. Um, rosemary, but of course it's not going to taste as good, right? But it, it will taste good, but not as good, okay? So, one thing that I do do is when this, when the season's over of, of my herbs, because, you know, usually like around, I think, October, my herbs are dying off. I just take everything off, and then I dry my herbs, then I can save them. So I don't have to be buying from the store. So let me go ahead and get this nice and chopped. I'm still learning how to chop herbs. I'm not an expert at them. Plus my knife, I use a pretty heavy knife. I, want, I, would, I would really want to invest and get in a more expensive one because then you guys may have the expensive type. This one I've had like for like 10 years, this knife. So we got that. The next step is you want to take some olive oil, um, about a tablespoon and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that. Okay. And then you're going to need a, uh, a tablespoon of dry oregano. So let me go ahead and go ahead and throw that in. Now what, I'm, what you could do is, what I probably end up doing, is you put it in your palm like this. You don't have to do this, but I think I will so that way get, it spreads better across the sweet potatoes. Is I rub it like this. So that way it's like in sm it's smaller instead of really big, okay? And then you want to take a quarter teaspoon of fresh black pepper. I grind my my um, my pep uh, black pepper, so I keep it in this jar. So it's a lot fresher than the stuff that you buy in the store if you grind your own, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and use three quarters um, teaspoon of uh, sea salt. So throw that in there. Let me see here. I think we're getting close here, okay? 
And that's about it. I mean, here um, you could add other kind of stuff that you like. Maybe like some cayenne if you want a little spice. Some smoked paprika or a little cumin. It doesn't, you know, you can keep adding whatever you kind of flavors that you like. And just, you know, make adjustments on the recipe. It's not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and, and go ahead and give it a mix here. Now if I feel that I don't have enough uh, olive oil, I can tell by looking at it. I want to make sure it's well coated. I will, I will add, um, you know, more olive oil to it. You could use even coconut oil, but if you use coconut oil, you got to make sure it's pre-melted already. And uh, let me get give this a mix here. Make sure it's well coated. These are really, really good. I think you really, you really enjoy them. Pretty easy to make. Yeah, I'm gonna need more olive oil because they're not the. I noticed that the it's not sticking well enough. You kind of know it's not sticking well enough to the potato, the ingredients. It's kind of like just falling off to the at the bottom of the bowl. Okay. So at this time, I already I already pre uh, sprayed my my baking sheet, or you can just rub it on a paper towel with some olive oil. And they typically don't stick, but it's better just to keep it safe so you're not like peeling them off. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay them out. Just kind of like this. I I suggest not to uh, over like double stack them. Just keep one potato at a time because if not, they're not gonna they're not gonna cook evenly. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm trying to move fast here. Okay, they smell good already, and <laughs> they're not even cooked. Okay, so so this if. I think it, it should they should fit on one cookie sheet. So you gotta be make sure that you don't overdo it. And if you especially if you only have one cookie sheet at home. Okay. Now I do have extra herbs under here. So what I'm gonna do is grab it all and just toss them toss it on top. So I don't wanna waste any of this this mixture in any way. Okay, so I'll give my hands, I'll give my half, hands some rinse here, and I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Oh, oh I dropped them. <laughs> Camera blooper. So remember, um, we wind up at 450 for an hour, an hour and a half, and then we'll come back and see how they turn out. Okay. All right, guys. Time to look at those sweet potato fries. You're wondering like, what's going on? You changed clothes <laughs> in the middle of the video? No, I just got back from the gym. It's Sunday, I worked on some chest, some triceps and shoulders. So anyways, um, it's probably like around 6.13 right now. I'm gonna have my uh, protein shake and then I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes and have my dinner, okay? So let me go ahead and get them out of the oven. I, what I did was, um, I left them in the oven. I turned off the timer when they were done so they can continue cooking. So let me go ahead and pull them out. Okay. Every time I see food, it brings a big smile to me. So let me go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You can taste some of the sweetness of the potato and the rosemary, a little bit of the salt. Really, really yummy. Make sure to, if, you know, depending if you cook them for like an hour, hour and a half, depending on your oven, you gotta make sure that when you bite into it, that it's soft all the way through. If you get towards the middle of it, and it's a little bit hard, that means they're not done, okay? You don't wanna eat like that, because they don't really taste good. You gotta make sure they're soft all the way through, okay? So anyways, go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. And I'll go ahead and put the recipe on the description box, box below, okay? All right, guys. Take care, and I'll come back to you again with another recipe in the Strong Line Fitness Kitchen. Peace. Mmm. I think I might eat most of them.